This is a time like no other. It's moments like this that we learn about in our history classes. What we're experiencing now. As students. As parents. As a society. With all of our technological advances. During what was already supposed to be one of the most influential parts of our adult lives. It was unexpected, to say the least. But here we are. Together. This here is our call to action. To continue our growth. To support one another. To learn from our past and our present. In order to lead by example. Your story. My story. Great stories begin here. Welcome to CMC. If you're still wondering what kind of community you've joined, you need only look in the mirror. Many of you have already taken the first step to get to know and support one another. You've started book clubs. You've created virtual spaces to connect in laughter and conversation. You've sought solutions to problems that had not been addressed. You've reached out, you've asked questions, and you've began what will become lifelong friendships across the five seats. And most importantly, you've continued to move forward. This is a journey that will shape who you are and where you'll go, but you won't be alone. You'll find a whole community waiting to support you each step of the way. You'll take part in innovative, reimagined, and redesigned courses that feature the best of CMC's on-campus classroom with research and collaborative projects, expert speakers, world-class faculty, and innovative approaches to at-home projects. It is in these defining moments that we ask you to keep thinking about the hard questions. You'll find the opportunity to do so through our Athenaeum programming and through various clubs and institutes, leadership opportunities, and organizations such as our award-winning Model UN team, Source Consulting Group, or the Women in Leadership Alliance. The bonds formed by CMCers each year are life-changing. Your time here will be no different. Our RAs and first-year guides will walk alongside of you. Staff across campus, including our Dean of Students Office, and our Soul Center for Student Opportunity will coach and support you as you make the most of your journey. Your first chapter at CMC is ready to begin. Together, we'll make each day, each page of this great story a moment to remember. Great stories begin here. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everybody, and a very special good morning from Claremont, California. On behalf of Claremont McKenna College, I'm very proud to welcome our incoming first year and transfer students, and of course, new families. While this is not how we would have preferred to welcome you, we are so excited to have you join our community and cannot wait to see you in person, both here in Claremont and around the world. To our students today, you join a small but mighty group of alumni and start an incredible journey a journey that only 14,000 have traveled before. While your collegiate story begins here today, your future does as well. A CMC education isn't just a four-year experience, it's an experience of a lifetime. Together, we will stay connected for decades to come, and CMC will be with you every step of the way. Often, President Chodosh program describes our students as courageous and resilient. We know that you, this year those traits will be tested and we're all here to make sure you are successful. To our parents, we need you now more than ever. KK Streeter will speak about the parent network shortly, but know that this institution has been built by our alumni and our parents. Together, we will continue to build a better CMC for our students today and tomorrow. Today, we hear from senior leadership all of which will support students and parents over the next four years and beyond. Welcome everyone, we're so excited to have you here. Now it's my pleasure to introduce Jennifer Sandoval, Associate Vice President for Admission, to hear about this class. Thank you all and talk to you soon. Jennifer. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Claremont McKenna College, Class of 2024. It has been an extraordinary journey to get to this point. 
And the reality is, it always is. As members of the Admission and Financial Aid Office, we get to interact with you and your family. But when you really start thinking about college, year, for some of you, that was your junior year. And for some of you, that might be your and throughout your senior year. We have to learn about you, learning about you in person, through your interviews, through your applications. And no matter if you joined the class when you got that admission offer on Friday the 13th in December, or on Valentine's Day in February, or on that Friday in March 20th, you have all become a very strong and a collaborative and innovative and inspirational member members of our community. The bonds that you all have formed through your variety of Zooms, all the sessions that we had with our community members, what you formed with each other has been nothing short of inspirational. We see how the community is going to continue to grow. A little bit about your class that you may or may not know. I know you've all got to know each other quite well. So we have, in terms of states represented at Claremont McKenna in your class, California, Texas, Illinois, New York, and Washington are the top five states that you all hail from. China, Hong Kong, United Kingdom, and India are the top countries. We have students that are representing 27 different citizenships in this class. 18.6% of you will be the first person in your family to attend college, and you will not be the last. And collectively, you all have held 751 leadership positions. We hope that this journey, we know it was unexpected how we were going to go through April, all of how you were able to learn about the class and connect. We hope that you feel that you've been given the information, you have everything that you need to step over into this next stage of your journey. The Admission and Financial Aid Office cannot wait to see how you will impact our campus and our community, all the things that you will get to experience together that you already have as you move forward on this journey. So I wish you all the best as you embark on your academic studies here at Claremont McKenna. Know that the Admission and Financial Aid Office will be here rooting for you, will be there for you throughout your, your time here at CMC. Can't wait to formally welcome you to campus when you get here physically. And yes, have a wonderful start to your academic journey. I now want to turn it over to Georgia Woods, who is a CMC senior, to share more about the community we have here from a student perspective. Thank you. I'm so excited that I get to be one of the first students Welcome CMC class of 2023. My name is Georgia Wood and I'm a rising senior dual majoring in government and psychology from Yorba Linda, California. On campus, I have been a first year guide, the first year programs intern, and I'm currently a resident assistant of Benson Hall and a success consultant all through the Dean of Students office. As one of the first students to welcome you to our CMC community, I also want to be the first to tell you, breathe. You made it. You're a student at Claremont McKenna College. Congratulations, that is incredible. It feels like a lifetime ago that I was opening my acceptance email from CMC, watching the maroon and green virtual confetti fall on my screen with my parents. You are attending one of the top liberal arts colleges in the country and you should be so proud. I am proud of you. I'm excited for you to become part of our student community and find your home in our student community. I vividly remember finding my first real home on campus. I vividly remember finding my first real home on CMC campus within the 5C Women's Rugby Club. I took a risk and joined with zero experience, and I honestly barely knew what the ball looked like, let alone what the scrum was. Throughout my first year, those girls became my family and some of my closest friends, and I cannot imagine my college experience without them. My background was nothing like any other girls, and I had next to nothing in common with most of them. And yet, I felt at home on the field next to my, my family. This is one of the most amazing parts. It gives you the opportunity to connect with individuals you have never met otherwise. The CMC environment encouraged me to take the risk of joining a team where I knew no one, and it paid off in ways I could not have even I met people and had experiences I would have never had the chance to elsewhere. I'll be to be an active member of my CMC. 
community and take the risk. The risk of the family may be scattered across the United States and across the world this semester. Find ways to challenge yourself and take risks. Email your professor about the research that you're interested in. Sign up for that club that has absolutely nothing to do with your major, but just looks fun. Go to virtual office hours just to chat with your professor. Convince your friends to do your RA's virtual yoga class on a Friday night. And please, sign up for that psychology class just because it looks interesting to you. You never know where it may lead you. Take the risk and challenge yourself, even in this virtual world, to be as connected as you can and to learn as much as you can this semester. Become an active member of your CMC community and watch as you discover your passions and make lifelong friends along the way. We can all be active members of our community and form bonds and connections even in a virtual world. Always remember that the learning and growing outside of the classroom is just as important as the research you will write and the exams you will pass. Your first year here is meant for you to find what drives you to explore and what you're passionate about. Find your place in our community, find your home, and know that you might have a few of them. With that being said, your place at CMC might not be where you first expect it to be. I entered college as a biology major with current plans to become a forensic technician after graduation. And here I am writing a thesis on conflict behavior between nuclear states. I never thought my place on campus would be in the government department, the rugby team, or the dean of students office. Make an effort to build a community in your first year here and find your home and your people. Because I promise you they are there and there. You. While doing this virtually might feel daunting, I know that each and every one of you will make the most out of your first year here at CMC. My favorite part about CMC is the community. We do not have a highly competitive environment like you hear about at some elite schools. Everyone is here to support each other and watch each other succeed. Our community is unmatched by any other I have been a part of. That is why I'm so heavily involved in student soccer. I want to give back to my community by helping build community with others. As a first year guide in RA, I get to meet new people and form connections and help others just find their passions. It is an amazing feeling knowing you can support someone and watch them continue to grow their own community. I see this as my way of giving back to my business and helping build community this class and the class after that. And I love that I get a chance to do this. Because if there's one thing I want to live on, it is our amazing and inclusive community. I'll leave you with one final sentiment. My biggest regret my first year here was not exploring more. And no, I don't wish that I had signed up for 10 more clubs than I did my first year. But I thought I knew exactly what my life was going to look like, and I didn't want to look outside of that plan. My best piece of advice for you is to do the thing that scares you and take advantage of as many different opportunities as you can, academically, socially, personally. Everyone tells you that these next four years go by faster than you think they will. And I distinctly remember rolling my eyes at my parents as they warned me of this. But wow, were they right. Enjoy every minute of it. Thank you and welcome class of CMC. Up next, you'll be hearing from KK Stewart, president of the Parent Network Board. Welcome and congratulations to students and family. To quote the Grateful Dead, what a long strange trip it's been. On the plus side, you will be part of history, and more importantly for now, you are joining an incredible community. I am the mother of 2018 and Charlie, who will be graduating hopefully this spring. Their experiences were so positive that back. The best way to get, give back at CMC as a parent is to get involved with the PNB, the Parent Network Board. It offers a wide range of volunteer opportunities that really match your interests and skills with the school's needs. You can do everything from parents, newsletters, events, um, fundraising, careers, really almost anything that you're interested in. CMC is small enough that you really can make a difference. Parents the Job Shadow Program, started the parent newsletter and the Facebook page. We host family weekends every year, and our parent fund makes significant contributions to the school every year, including this year's COVID emergency fund. In terms of how to best support your students this year, usually they're so immersed in CMC that it's really rare to hear from them. Obviously, it's going to be different this year. Many of your students will be at home. Um, and consensus I find from talking to parents, other parents, and some faculty members seems to be that, you know, help your students develop some sort of uh, routine and structure. 
Um, a dead, it could be a dedicated place to study. It could be making sure they take time to take a walk or do some sort of physical activity. Um, to ask them about their class content, uh, remind them of CMC's resources, which are incredible. Things like peer tutoring, success consultants, Dean of Students is always there to help. Encourage them to connect with other CMC students in non-academic ways. And don't be afraid to ask other CMC students for advice. You can contact myself or any of the PNB leaders. All of our contact information is on the website page. You can go to the Facebook page. Um, people here are really eager to, and uh, they, they want to help. Um, they want to make sure everyone is comfortable, and especially during this year when we all know that everyone's going to need an extra hand. Um, the other, I guess lastly, I would say that when you and your students or parents, when your students make you crazy, um, parents make you crazy, just parents, remember that your students are young adults and they're still developing their academic and personal skills. And students, just remember that your families really do love you and have your best interests at heart. So welcome again. Congratulations. And now I'd like to turn it over to Sean Levin, who is the Associate Dean of Faculty and the Crown Prep for Professor of Psychology and George R. Hello. On behalf of the faculty at CMC, welcome. Welcome to this newest step in the journey of your education, a journey that will last a lifetime. A liberal arts education at CMC will prepare you to learn, to think, to question, to innovate, to give you the skills to be a responsible citizen, employee, spiritual person, entrepreneur, or member of the multiple communities to which you belong. When you come here, one question you may have on your mind is, what learning lies ahead? Excellent question. What should we, as faculty at CMC, try to make sure you've learned by the time you leave? In a way, only you can know that. You are putting together the building blocks of the start of your life here, and only you can know what your dreams are, your strengths and your weaknesses, your hopes and your fears. We build a lot of flexibility into the curriculum so that you can tailor your academic program to your passions and goals. That said, there are some things we generally believe to be good for all of you. First, we are convinced that excellence in writing is indispensable for any goal you set in your life. Writing well is both an indispensable tool and a great joy. More generally, excellence in any form of communication, whether written, oral, or visual, will set you apart. There will be many opportunities at CMC for you to hone your writing and your speaking skills, and I encourage you to use all of them to the fullest. We also believe that quantitative literacy and understanding of mathematics, statistics, and computer science is an indispensable tool in today's world. Whatever you do, whether running a business, trying to change public policy, or doing any kind of research, having some mastery of these tools will assist you. You don't need to be a math or coding whiz yourself. You can work with those who are, but you need to at least know how to talk to them to speak the same quantitative language. Third, we believe that breadth of knowledge is important. We all have things we think we're better at or more interested in, but it's also important to avoid tunnel vision. A well-educated person, a lifelong learner, is able to understand the complex and interrelated nature of our world, the many dimensions that operate in everything we do. We make this breadth happen through our general education requirements, but I also encourage you to challenge yourself. Take courses outside of what you think your major or your job will be. At the heart of all the things I've said so far lies your faculty. Our faculty are accomplished researchers, many of whom work at the top levels of their field nationally and internationally. At the same time, they're also committed to teaching and mentoring all of you. Get to know your professors and academic advisors, engage them in discussion, learn from them. They are what you are here for and they are here for you. But there is more to know than the facts, methods, and theories of the various disciplines we offer here. 
There are qualities of character, like courage, creativity, empathy, and resilience, the capacity to motivate and inspire other people, work ethic, and collaborative spirit. Much of what you need to learn in life is how to listen carefully, including to ideas you do not like, how to work with others who are different from yourself, how to persevere in the face of unpredictable obstacles, how to believe in yourself while remaining self-critical at the same time. That is what inclusive and ethical leadership is all about. Our courses will most certainly give you opportunities to do all of this. Courses at CMC this semester have been redesigned to shed light on the key issues of the day and to give you the tools to analyze, to connect, and to lead through uncertainty and change. Turn the challenge of online learning into opportunity. Online learning is an opportunity for you to exert more agency over your learning. You will have more flexibility to schedule your asynchronous learning. You'll work on more projects, researching and creating together, things that don't need the four walls of the classroom to be transformative. Through online opportunities, engage also in our co-curricular space, our research institutes, centers, labs, and student organizations. Join a student club, work with an institute, contribute to an organization in the community, get a writing fellowship, or become a research assistant or course mentor. You will learn much that is valuable through all of these co-curricular paths. Most of all, learn through academic freedom on the one hand and diversity inclusion on the other. Both are foundational principles of our academic community. To learn, you must be exposed to ideas that are not your own. Actually, more than simply being exposed to them, you must engage with ideas that are not your own. Treat each other as fellow thinkers, even if you disagree. This is where freedom of expression meets inclusion. I'm so happy to see you all here. Well, figuratively speaking, of course, because at the moment, I can only see myself. I wish you a great journey. To the families and friends assembled out there, I say thank you for all you've done talented people into our community. They couldn't have done it without you. They are in good hands now. Enjoy their success, however they define it. See them learn and grow and become the people they want to be. We will challenge and support them throughout their journey. And no one will support and challenge them more than Sharon Basso, our next speaker, the Vice President for Student Affairs. Students and families, I extend a hearty welcome on behalf of all my colleagues in the Dean of Students Office, our phenomenal resident assistants, and our brilliant first year guides. Your first acronym lesson, first year guides, FYGs, are known as FIGs, and you are new students. You have recently become their figlets. CMC, great stories begin here. Your CMC story begins here and now and becomes one chapter in the Claremont McKenna College story, a tale 74 years old now. Your individual great story will shape the story of this class of 2024, and the class of 2024 chapter will sit prominently within the CMC narrative. You are now a part of this place and its story. Students, we are ready for you. We've been waiting for you. Your class has already distinguished itself began to gel as an us. There are ways to catapult over and beyond the challenges this pandemic has created. Parents and families, we understand fully and embrace the responsibility you charge us with when your students become a part of this CMC family. They are your precious cargo, and now we share them with you. We've officially become partners. We are so excited to welcome you to our community. Students, Five very important points for you. One, you belong here. We picked you, you picked us, and we don't make mistakes. All of you, each of you, is CMC. Two, you can do this and do this well. It takes hard work, and that's a good thing. It should be a little difficult. If it's not, then you're not accessing all your potential or all the opportunities here. Three, we are here to support you. We walk beside you. 
We have a phenomenal professional staff in the Dean of Students Office and the Saul Center for Student Opportunities. We have a deep bench and expertise to support your emotional and physical health and well-being, <clears throat> resources and support for your academic work, exciting and fun student engagement opportunities with our clubs and organizations, opportunities to learn how to lead and learn how to follow, engage deeply in our open academy principles and learn how to have effective dialogues across difference, how to ask game-changing questions, and have robust and consistent assistance as you explore your career interest areas and experiential opportunities. Four, this is your story, and it doesn't have to look or read like anyone else's. Take ownership of your experiences. We will help you take responsibility for yourself and your fellow community members. Five, take care of yourselves and one another. Mask up, wash your hands, stay six feet apart. Don't become complacent for you, for your families, for your CMC community, and for your local areas. Check in on your classmates. How are they doing? What tips have you learned that served you well in the past that you can pass on? You already have some expertise. What do you need from each other? Reach out, reach across, and stay in touch with us. Class of 2024, you belong here. You can do this. We are here to walk beside you. This is your story. Take care of yourselves and one another. Now to the truly exciting news of the day for students. The Dean of Students Office and the Office of Alumni and Parent Engagement and CMC Events partnered to package up a box for each of you containing CMC swag and important pandemic learning tools such as blue light blocking glasses to save your eyes from long Zoom hours. Look for that box in the mail over the next couple of weeks and enjoy it. Feel free to video your unboxing and send it to us or tag us on social media with it. Now, it is my honor and distinct pleasure a fundamental co-author for the CMC story and your stories, a truly inspirational leader of our college, President Hiram, Hiram Choda. Welcome to you all, and thanks for being here with us today in this unprecedented virtual orientation. What a year, what a day, what a moment uh, for our world, for our country, for our college, and especially for you a moment in which each formidable challenge from COVID-19 to George Floyd exposes both our vulnerabilities and our strengths. A moment in which we're gathered to congratulate each and every one of you and reflect on the value and meaning you can create, we can all create from this occasion. We're here to express our gratitude for the privilege of belonging to this dynamic community, the opportunity to serve our greater purpose. And I wanna thank each and every one of you for your co-authorship in our story. Jen and our charismatic, insightful admissions group who attracted and selected you as, for, as one of 10 applicants, Georgia and our dedicated student leaders and FIGs who inspire us every day with their drive to give back, their energy, their generous warmth, their belief in CMC and our community. Sharon and our talented team at the Dean of Students Office who are dedicated to your personal growth, well-being, and success and who have brought us even closer together, even though we have to be apart now from one another. Evan and our industrious staff who've worked so hard to reimagine this special program, and Shauna and our academic leadership and brilliant faculty who challenge and teach us the joy and power of learning through the liberal arts. David McGrublian, our chair of the board of trustees and all the trustees and their invaluable energy, professional expertise, philanthropy, realize our singular mission by the values and responsible leadership we so desperately need in our world today. We came at the selfless generosity of our parents, our grandparents, families and friends who believe and love in us and love us and make the sacrifice to create this special opportunity for all. And especially again to each and every one of you who join us on this journey. We're all here for the class of 2024 and our transfer students to recognize this big moment for you and your families. Remember, biggest challenge for parents and grandparents and younger siblings is the sense of loss and setting you free and the worry, will you be okay? The hardest challenge often can be letting you go. 
so that you become more independent, more free, fulfilled, that you can author your own choices. So whether you're at home or away, keep them all close. Tell them you love them and hug them and thank them for helping you to get to this day of, this, of orientation. New orientation. Because we know how disorienting it can be to join a new community and to start college. We did orientation this time over a month instead of days because we all now live under very disorienting conditions. Mass and physical distancing are both absolutely necessary and disconcerting. College without a campus is now both sadly required and sometimes seemingly dystopian for us. And in the midst of these general conditions, you've been through the loss of your last few months of senior year experience, the stress and uncertainty and personal loss imposed on your families and years of incredibly hard work leading up to your college decision. The tough practices and competitions, the long nights of study, the community service and part-time jobs, the number two pencils and bubbles on the multiple choice tests, the endless drafts of college essays, the financial challenges, and the big decision. And in the fog of COVID-19 and the nervous energy of starting college, we tend to gloss over the moment and miss the opportunity to pose the most meaningful questions. And I have two for all of us, for you today. One I've posed to you and your families before, and I continue to ask myself every day, and seek to answer this question at this week's convocation later on Friday afternoon. If we imagine ourselves sometime in the future, five, 10, 20, 30 years from now, and we each look back at today, this semester, our experience in this college and our communities, what is the story we would like to tell about how we responded to our current challenges? COVID-19, racism, violence, hunger, threats to our climate, what did we do? What did we contribute? What did we learn? Now you've each written the first few chapters of that story by persevering the past few months, applying your leadership, extending your social warmth, and instead of sitting it out on the sidelines, choosing to learn and learn with us. Keep writing your own story and you will make even more out of each and every moment this year and for many to come. To do this well, to answer this question well, I have a second more pointed question, a question about our shared purpose, a window into how we unlock our talent, realize our commitments, discover the pure joy of learning hard, have fun in a close community even when we're apart, how we pursue our dreams. So here's the second question. Why are we here? today, together, even when we cannot be on campus physically? In this question, there are really three. Why are we here? Why are we here? And why are we here? First, the why. Why are we here? What is our calling? What does the world need from us? What role can we play? Yes, to face and address the major forces, the complex, wicked problems, and the exciting opportunities we face in the world. COVID-19 and public health, racism and equality, the danger and power of exponential technology, crime and safety, war and peace, economic growth and inequality, the environment and sustainability, poverty and free enterprise, disease and its cures, refugees and immigration, polarization and division and finding our shared purpose, core values, and a deeper unity. To grow our ability in this context, to understand, confront, mitigate, overcome, resolve, innovate, disrupt, survive, thrive, all depends on one human capability. And that's our ability to learn, to learn harder, deeper, broader, higher, and to put that learning to work. We can solve each and every one of our problems, seize every single opportunity if only we figured out what we have to learn and how to learn it, to unleash the power and cre creativity of our minds, to learn through the diversity, compassion, playfulness, love, and social warmth in our community, to inspire and inculcate the courage and humility we all need for new forms of collaborative, responsive, responsible leadership. 
not telling others what to do, but inspiring them by example to work together to find solutions. Not just to point out what's wrong with the world, but to understand it and help fix it together. Not just to serve others, but to put our attention on others and commit ourselves to the success of everyone around us. And not just the results, but the principles, the values, the quality of our character, the deeper ethos of our commitments, the compass, the ethical compass to the dilemmas we face, higher, deeper, broader learning, to counter ignorance with the search for truth, to replace the ad hominem attacks and conclusory opinions with empirics, with evidence and reason, to diagnose the deeper causes for clues about the solutions, to integrate diverse bodies of expertise and work throughout and across our different disciplines, to speak freely, debate respectfully, listen actively, find common ground, bring people together through effective dialogue, to put learning to work, to commit ourselves to effective action, both the smallest gestures and the boldest aspirations. Yes, small deeds to help someone in need, to resolve a personal conflict, to pose a neutral question, small gestures of kindness and gratitude, to fight the banality of evil with the banality of good. And yes, big ideas to grow new solutions into scalable businesses, to develop effective policy that improves the human condition to build consensus in a world that often appears just not to want it. That's why we are here. Second, why are we here? Why are we here at Claremont McKenna College? And over the past few months, we've learned how to honor the mission of our college without the benefit of our campus. How here is not only a place, a physical place, but more importantly, a state of mind, a community, even if dispersed. CMC Nation has become closer despite and because of its diaspora conditions. The here of our college is structured to serve the why, our greater purpose, because here you, each of you, will work hard to learn from the intellectual power of our liberal arts faculty, how to think, write, compute, code, theorize, gather evidence, add and subtract assumptions, disprove the null hypothesis. How to think laterally through our interdisciplinary curriculum. How to take on complex problems through the capstone projects, the thesis, the advanced research opportunities with our faculty and institutes. How to learn teamwork and collaboration through student organizations, team projects, institutes, centers, labs, internships, the powerful ways of building community when we can't be physically together. How to develop close friendships across differences and barriers and borders. Learn how to have difficult conversations, listen well, debate with respect, solve controversial problems across diverse viewpoints and experiences through our intimate, active, demanding classrooms and the close relationships that form from the full student experience. You will learn from these experiences and grow your self-confidence that motivate you to learn more. You will learn how to put all this to work through classroom simulations, advanced research, student enterprises, special projects, summer experiences, and internships. In this cycle, this CMC cycle of learning and doing, you will learn to learn so that you can keep ahead of the exponential changes you will face over your lifetime. Prepare for what we cannot anticipate, the unknown unknowns, the questions not yet framed. That's why we are all here, here at CMC. And then finally, the third question is, why are we here? Jen, Sharon, Shauna, Georgia, Evan and I, and all the faculty and staff and students, the alumni, the parents, the trustees at the college are here to help you find your own purpose build your own community, help you take care of yourselves, empower you to remove the obstacles and barriers in your way, help you develop the foundations, the qualities, the capabilities you need to thrive, and that the world that we all need from you. 
and you are here because you chose us and we chose you. How is it that out of 10 applicants, you were the one? You may wonder. You may experience moments of self-doubt. That's natural. I know I did when I started college. For the longest time, I thought I, I was convinced I was failing out. And I had evidence to prove it. I still remember the D plus on my first exam. Self-doubt is not only understandable, it's in a way essential. It's a condition for learning and self-improvement. If we didn't know what we couldn't do, we wouldn't be motivated to do it. And psychologists tell us that the strongest sign of incompetence is found in those people who have the least clue of their inabilities. Without self-doubt, we're probably not challenging ourselves enough. Without a manageable level of insecurity, our standards are probably not sufficiently high. And when you experience those moments, and I know you will, I want you to remember, we all share that feeling. We share it every day. We're all imperfect. We all make mistakes and have to learn through moments of failure and disappointment. And we must simultaneously recognize that some of us, some of those around us may feel this more than others. And it's our shared responsibility to reach out, to check in, to ask, to believe in one another and give each other that special confidence that we can learn or do the things we initially think we cannot and learn to discover that we can. Remember that leadership and the professions are practiced, never perfected. We are all here to learn from our mistakes together, support one another with the grace of error, lift ourselves when we're down or disappointed, sad or lonely, and celebrate one another too when we're up and stick together like brothers and sisters in one community. Most importantly to me, I want you to know deep down that you're here because we believe in you. We believe in what you can contribute, what we can each learn from you. And we chose you because we saw something special, not just the hard work, not just the objective academic achievements, the GPAs and the test scores, not just the leadership roles and community service and the bullet points on a CV, not just the successful athletic performance or debate competition, but something more significant, something unique in each of you, a spark, a charm, a spirit, an energy, a drive, a social generosity, an impulse to lead, to step across a barrier, to overcome a challenge, a desire and commitment to do more than what's merely expected, to shape your own path, a commitment to contribute to those around you, to make friends and build community through and across differences in viewpoint and experience, to follow your own dreams, to open up to new experiences, to grow comfort with the discomfort trying new things, to turn weaknesses into strengths. So this is why you, all of us together are here, why we all belong here, to learn together, to lead, why we are so driven, so fired up, why we are so moved, so lucky to have you all with us. So everybody, take a breath, soak it in, answer the question, write your story, savor the moment, and now join me with Evan and Michelle as they unveil the class of 2024 banner. Take a look at this banner as a way of saying to the class of 2024, Welcome to CMC and many congratulations to you all. Thank you very much for being with us today and good luck. Thank you.